Hey, Physique Freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzana, MetabolicMasterpiece.com. Time for a full week of training update. Started a new split this week, a new training phase. So we're gonna give you some insights into that, as well as checking out some of the shredded details that we've been carving out. Let's get to that footage. And this month we are hitting a four day split. Day one is a chest focus workout, kicking things off with the cable press fly. Loving the vascularity I'm seeing there. Absolutely ridiculous. So the pressing portion of the movement, pretty easy, but really focus on a good squeeze, good contraction, and a nice slow eccentric for the, um, the fly on the way back there. On this day, we're also doing a little touch-up work for the shoulders and the triceps. Loving the striations I'm seeing in the delts there. Uh, always love the feel of the cable lateral raises. Mike's freaking shoulders. I love the details in his shoulders and arms here. This guy is looking freaking phenomenal. Some cannonball delts. Um, just great shape to his shoulders and arms here. Something that I don't think he realized he had. We've been talking uh, earlier this week about how um, I mean, he's always been in good shape, but never really noticed the separation between his shoulders and arms. And now not only does he notice separation between his shoulders and arms, but freaking striations and vascularity like crazy. Uh, so in addition to a little touch-up work for the shoulders, also doing a little touch-up work for the triceps here. And Rick with some shredded details in his triceps popping out there. Day two is a back and bicep workout, but we're kicking things off with the trap bar deadlift. So getting a little bit of glute and leg workout in there, um, but mainly using this to focus on the upper back. And damn, did we ever feel this for like two and three days afterwards. Traps and upper back, I really felt uh, some muscle soreness there. Nice and conservative with the weight. Haven't done deadlifts in about four or five months at least. Uh, and I'm at the end of a deficit, so I didn't want to push things too hard. They're just getting a feel for the movement, loving the vascularity, the details I'm seeing in my arms there, the shoulder separation, the brachialis popping out, loving the details in Mike's upper back, rear delts, arms, everything looking freaking solid here for being at the end of our cut. Um, still got a nice little pump, good shape going on, good muscle fullness, especially with Rick here. I love seeing the the back muscles popping out there, the shoulders, the arms, he's looking nice and full here today. Um, again, he's just kind of joined us, stayed within striking distance and joined us at the end of this cutting phase here. Loving this movement, a high pull, like pulling a, a row towards the neck and then a little external rotation. So similar to a face pull, but not quite. You're more rowing towards the neck and then getting a little external rotation on there. Definitely feels different with this doing it on the seated row machine uh, as opposed to like a, a high pulley or even a mid pulley. Uh, so later on in the biceps here, we're keeping the, uh, the rope hammer curls in the training uh, this month. Um, a little bit higher reps here. We were doing, including them in eight sets of eight in the last phase. Um, really enjoying the feel of those. And uh, day three, shoulder focused workout. Kicking things off with the push press. And uh, a movement, man, I haven't done a push press in ages. So really taking us a little bit getting used to. Mike's maybe leaning back a tiny bit there. This is our first set, just trying to get a feel for things. And um, timing, it's all, all really comes down to timing with this movement. So what we found is a little pause in the bottom, then squat down just a bit and use that momentum. If you catch, catch it at the right timing, you can push it up there with ease. I can really crank up the weight here. And uh, by our third set, we were feeling really, really good uh, with this movement. So looking forward to working this um, in, uh, in the weeks to come here. So still in the gym six days a week. And uh, so rotating through this four-day plan. So um, going to be hitting each of these workouts basically twice every eight, nine days. So... Um, getting a decent frequency, a little less than what we've been used to, but we also did some touch-up work on the uh, chest and triceps on the shoulder day as well. So um, they're getting hit with higher frequency, but the, the higher frequency is just little, little touch-up work here and there. So um, it's been enjoyable so far. Here on day four, we're hitting uh, one of the supersets we're doing is between squats and neutral grip chin-ups. 
And Mike opted for the uh, traditional chin-ups here with the supinated grip just because he was working right here within the max rack, uh, doing squats there and just stepping right on over and doing the uh, chin-ups here. Great plan. Looking forward to sharing more next week. Mm -hmm.